ever just sat there and screamed inside your own mind? I have, and you're about to as well, as we tackle today's video brought to my attention by everyone's favourite Prince of Queens, Prince of Queens. Cheers for this one, buddy. I'll be sure to send something equally heinous your way, such as a basket of dead kittens or a bucket full of AIDS. Come on then, let's get this disaster on the road so I can get back to wanking over pictures of crime scenes. Hey everyone. Well, hello! You must forgive me, this is my first time conversing with a talking toad. I wanted to do a rambling vlog about a couple things that have been annoying me. Fucking hell, looking at you, that could be anything from hay fever to your moustache. First off, let's just talk about the transhumanist, right? Moustache! These fucking guys are so ridiculous. Well, is that it? Or is there more? Just how much of this video is going to be pauses? Like, I don't even know where to begin with this stuff, but like... Like, script your videos then, or at least have, like, some idea of what you're gonna say before you, like, subject your audience to a face that eats itself when you're thinking. For fuck's sake, I'm gonna fuck- HURRY UP! First off, I guess first off, let's just say this. What? Say what? My fuck, woman, this had better be amazing or I'm gonna replace every one of those polka dots with bullet holes. When you die, you're dead. Your consciousness isn't going to live on. Okay, not exactly a revelation, is it? You seem mighty sure of yourself over something that is essentially speculation, though. I mean, we don't know what happens, if anything. Probably for the best nothing happens, though, because who would want to go through eternity looking like that? She looks like a bulldog chewing on a wasp. You can't implant your fucking soul, consciousness, what have you, into a fucking computer. Good! The only thing keeping me going right now is the knowledge that you aren't gonna live on as the world's most annoying computer! Probably manufactured by Apple! Alright. You're dead. You can mimic your personality and, I guess, put it into a fucking robot, but that's not you. Well, now we have to bring up what makes you intrinsically you. Is it your consciousness? Or is it the small amount of bile you brought up from my stomach? That's philosophy, that is. That's a simulation. It's not a person. It's not a, f a living thing. Look, if you want to be taken seriously, don't refer to yourself as a living thing when you are quite clearly rotting from the outside in. Okay, it's not, it's not something that has been living. It's a pathetic attempt at escaping your mortality. Yeah, because humans haven't been trying to do that since the dawn of fucking time, have they? But no, that's good. No medical treatment for you. We have a video DNR for this bitch now. Like, fuck would anyone give you mouth to mouth anyway? And I hope it... And I don't give a shit what you do, but like, I really hate this death negative culture. It just got a bit emo in here, didn't it? Death negative culture. Those selfish fucks who want to carry on living, how dare they? It's the doctors and paramedics, they're the real problem. Resuscitating someone is like death rape. That just refuses to accept it, you know? It's, it's frustrating. That's what's frustrating? Not looking in the mirror and seeing a melted jelly baby? Well, way to pick your battles. And I, you know, I don't have as much exposure to death as maybe some people have. You should do. All of those sex drives you kill when you go out in public. You know, but I have a relationship with Death. What the fuck? Are you Deadpool? Are we playing The Sims? This bitch be crazy! How can you have a relationship with death? It wants to kill you! As, you know, a mentor for me spiritually. Am I currently responding to a recruitment video for a cult? A, a fucking important mentor. <clears throat> Look, I'm even wearing death right now. Yeah, and I bet you fucking smell like it too. Is there a point to any of this? Like, seriously, I'm not, not joking about that. Like, that's a very deep relationship there. Because you have a picture of an anthropomorphic version of death around your gullet? Um, that I've been working on for several years. Oh, for shit's sake. The Code of the Samurai says death should be embraced by the warrior to invoke a courage that most don't have, but that really isn't what you're on about. You're more the writing poetry in the dark kind of monster. Let's just bypass all this shit about transhumans like that's a fucking thing and get to the good shit. Ah, 
Oh, fuck, it's even more annoying. Right, we're just skipping it. Fuck it. I don't have any time for anti-feminist women. There it is. Linking death to feminism. Nice touch. Like women who, you know, position themselves that way. What, because they've considered it and found it wanting? Maybe get pissed off with feminism instead for being so shit. And like, you know, me want to interact with me. Why would anyone do that to themselves? You're fuck ugly and a feminist. I mean, give yourself a chance in life. Despite like that, like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for you. It is so banal. And all I can think, honestly, just this is what's going on in my head. I know exactly what's going on in your head. This. And, and I don't care if you think I'm wrong because it's what's actually happening because I've never met another lesbian who was an anti-feminist. She just let slip she's a lesbian there, you know, for all those who can't see the fucking obvious. To like went around fucking like defending men all the time, especially to like other women. So anti-feminism is defending men, is it? No problem. That just means feminism is attacking men. Glad we cleared that up. Never have I experienced that, but I have experienced heterosexual men doing it. That's got to be your only experience with heterosexual men, hasn't it? Funny that. So I'm sorry. All I can, all I think of it is that you know they're pathetic and weak and have no consciousness, obviously, of themselves as women. No, you're right. They don't. They see themselves as people first, which is a really healthy outlook in my mind. As for pathetic and weak, you are so fucking wrong. Anyone who stands against the onslaught of bullshit that is third wave feminism is a fucking hero. Which I can have sympathy for, but like, really they're just chasing dicks, you know. Actually, most women can let the dicks chase them. Not everyone makes them run away like you do. And looking for cocks to suck, you know and trying to appear, like, in some way attractive to men. Oh, how the fuck would you know what that looks like? Interesting, though, she's managed to blame men for some women not being feminist. No surprise she'd have such a distorted view of reality, but interesting. That's what it's about. So I just don't really have any time for women like that, because it's just, like, my... Rain it in with the kung fu moves, you're what? Your fragile ideals get challenged? Your mind can't cope with someone disagreeing with you? Your tits are so saggy they're tucked into your socks? It could be anything, come on! Reality isn't that, you know, and what I want to live with and what I want to experience in my life is like the female centric. Well, you don't get to choose what you experience in your life, dickhead. It just happens with or without your permission. Life is full of flavours. You have to take big bites. You know, sorts of life. So, women like that just bug me. And people with a bottom jaw bigger than their brain bug me. But you don't see me making videos about... Oh, never mind. Uh, and yeah, they always like... I don't know, I had one either today or yesterday, like, commenting on some of my videos. Oh, shit, you're gonna love me then. Remember, guys, please don't harass the people in these videos because they do a good enough job of it themselves. And it was just so irritating. She's like, I grew up in the West and I haven't experienced any forms of oppression, which... Which is true, since we don't live in a patriarchal society designed to keep women from advancing both socially and in the workplace. Okay, good for you. What does that have to do with, like, the fact that these things happen? Sure, they do. But I think the point of her comment was to highlight the fact that it doesn't happen as often as you lot say it does. Like, you don't have to personally experience something for you to, like, know that it's a problem. I'd say you do, actually. Until you have experience of it, you just think it is. Much like your bit on death, some people think they know what happens when you die, but until you experience it, you don't actually know. Like, I've never been prostituted, but, like, I know it's not good. I dated a prostitute, actually. She loved her job. Seriously, we weren't together very long. And have you ever really had to worry about being prostituted? Fucking hell, take that business idea to Dragon's Den. They'll take one look at you before Duncan Ballantyne says, No, I'm out. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be raped to fucking feel empathy and understand that, like, it's a problem and it's something that, like, a whole group of people face.
What whole group of people? Well, rape victims, I guess, but I'm pretty sure that's not what you meant. Plus, if you enjoy it, it's not rape. So yeah, no one likes rape, except rapists. Obviously, they love it. Can't get enough. You know, and that you're under threat of it too. <laughs> like, I, you don't have to be battered to know that battery is a fucking form of women's oppression. Battery is acting upon the threat of physical harm. It's not gender specific and you're a retard. You know, you don't have to personally experience it. You don't have to be told you can't do something because you're a girl for there to be girls that hear that in the West. But that's not oppression, is it? That's just someone being harmlessly sexist, I guess. Unless the females really are the weaker of the species and everything said to or about them is taken straight to heart and affects the rest of their lives, which would be stupid and completely against the feminist regime. So pick a side, bitch. Like, you don't have to go to fucking, <laughs> like, when I grew up and went to church, like, I was told women's place is subservient. What the fuck were you expecting from an establishment that is basically governed by tradition? Next, you'll be complaining you got the shit knocked out of you from wearing a sandwich board that says I hate niggers. Sorry, that's what I was hearing. And I know people try to pretend that Christianity isn't what it is nowadays, but it is what it is, all right? Yeah, it is what it is, just not necessarily what you think it is. People get things wrong. Look at your parents when they had you. You were dangling from the midwife's hands, still covered in birth shit when your mum asked, is it retarded? To which your father replied, it is what it is. Um, and it's expected that women are subservient in it. So, like, yeah. Don't so like, yeah, me. It's the fucking church. Everyone is subservient, which you would see if you stopped focusing so much on your stanky vagina and took stock of what's actually going on around you. And maybe took a shower. I'm not saying you smell, but you look like you do. I, I you know, heard that. And that's also what I got from reading the Bible, too. That was the impression I got, too. Yet yeah, the impression you got, dickhead, is in not fucking gospel. If it came from the mouth of God himself, I'd be on board. But since God isn't fucking real, you're complaining about something non-existent. Makes a change from the patriarchy, though, which is equally non-existent. So it's not just like the church was telling me that. But, like, you know, that's a thing. Um... You don't have to personally experience that to know it happens and to know that it's affecting, like, large swaths of women. Yeah, religion sucks. You won't get an argument out of me there. But if you don't need to personally experience it to know what goes on, why did you just give us your personal experience of it? In your, like, in the West? Like, whatever the fuck that means. I grew up in the West too, you know? Not all, not all of our experiences have to be the same to understand that they're happening because we're women, you know? That makes no fucking sense. If you want to put something down to one shared factor, you have to link it. Experiencing different things means it happens to some women, but not to others, which means it isn't linked, which means it isn't down to simply being a woman, but some other factor, probably being an easily influenced bellend. You don't have to experience it to understand that, like, other women are experiencing these things because they're women. So it's all down to being a chick, is it? Not repercussions from the individual's actions. Fuck off with the victim tactics. Girls are just as bad as boys and in some cases a lot fucking worse. Like, shit. It doesn't have to happen to every woman. And I really hate this because then she started, like, I was just like, oh, maybe this isn't the channel for you. Why are you here? You know, she's like, can you just tell me some form of oppression that you have personally faced and I was like I've been raped have a good day Oh fuck, oh fuck, here we go. Bullshit! No one, but no one would mention that with such flippancy if it were true. Never mind the fact that you'd have to be the only female in a 70 mile radius for that to happen to you. But seriously, chat to a real victim, observe their body language when they talk about it, listen to their voice. There is no flippancy, there is no brushing someone off with such a comment. In my books, lying about it is just as bad as the act itself, and every time you do it, you do further damage to actual victims very fucking feminist of you like what the fuck is that why does it have to be about what i've personally experienced you know you've only mentioned your personal fucking experiences maybe that's why well i talk about my personal experiences and they inform my politics they're not everything and i hate 
that you know this there's this bastardization of this feminist understanding that the personal is political right yeah taking anecdotal evidence from a group of people that are renowned liars why would that be do you think because i'm all about that i'm all about making the personal political and understanding that your personal experiences that are shitty and you know maybe it didn't make sense to you by talking to other women and like learning from other women you get to see that it isn't you it's, it's part of a greater social system that everyone's dealing with. You said yourself that people experience different things, so how the fuck can your experiences be all that relevant to the bigger picture? If every woman experienced the same thing, you'd be onto something. But I don't get how you can sit there and contradict yourself and yet still have the impression you're right. There is no pattern. There is no correlation. There's no nothing, as shown by people experiencing different things. I would reach into my screen and strangle you if I weren't so afraid of catching whatever it is you have. But there we go. Yet another example of how the world is sorting itself out by turning people like this gay and removing them from the gene pool. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron to show your love and keep me safe from any creeping sobriety. The link is in the description. And remember, if you're an utter failure with only yourself to blame, then feminism is for you.